So good morning, students. I think now four of you are there in the class. Abdullahi, Omar, Dirasak, Deborah. Three. Okay. No problem. We'll begin with the class. So can one of you recapitulate what we learned during the last class? Deborah, can you recapitulate what we learned during the last class? Okay. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Okay, we learned about the different types of corporate. Okay. Yes. Hmm. And uh, the importance of uh, corporate culture. Yes. Very good. Yes. Okay. So, okay. We learned, thanks, thanks Deborah. So we learned about corporate culture, work culture in an organization and corporate work culture and how strategic human resources management as well as development plays an important role even in work culture of an organization or corporate work culture. Today, we will learn about strategic human resource consulting. Uh, today, the lecture may take a little longer. I uh, request you to bear with me. This is just in your best interest so that we would complete with the syllabus, whatever is required for the syllabus, the relevant part of it, and uh, so that you know, you'll know you have ample time for your revision. And uh, of course, anytime you have any questions, you can always ask me via the number that I gave you and also, of course, by emails and so on. Of course, you can contact me anytime. Now, coming back to the subject, today we are going to learn about strategic human resource consulting. So I'm sure you know, again, what is consultation? What is a consultancy organization? Consultancy organization is an organization or a firm which renders consultancy services. It is a service, it comes under the service-based industry where there may be professionals or experts who render their services uh, for a particular amount of fee. It could be a service contract and with respect to HR, it is, you know, it could be HR uh, service contract. Now, with respect to that, we are going to learn today about how these HR consultancies or HR consulting organizations or firms, how they apply strategic management to human resource management and development. And what's the, what's the role that they play in, you know, aiding the progress of any of their client organizations, okay? So basically, um, these HR consulting organizations, they use the same principles of strategic human resource management and development, and they help in developing the work culture of the organization, they help in recruitment programs, they help in leadership programs, they help in training programs, they are kind of, um, you know, they help also in monitoring and evaluation of this particular situation, the, the, the human resource situation in an organization, they strategically help the organization by, by recruiting the right person to the right job in the form of an investment that, you know, it, uh, the, uh, you know the employees, uh, you know, stick to the company even in the long run and also, uh, you know, strategize in a way to invest in those companies so that these employees will continue sticking to the organization as well as help the organization to propel further and achieve their organizational goals at this both short term and long term. So let us now go through our slides. So strategic human resource consulting 
or consultancy is the application of strategic management in the rendering of human resource services. It aims to help the clients, that is organization clients, or you know, companies or corporate clients gain a competitive advantage through strategic recruitment and strategic planning of human resources for an organization if they are appointed to do so. That means they come under, you know, they render their services under a service contract, under a consultancy contract. And normally these consultancy organization, they move beyond, uh, you know, a traditionally administrative setup where their services are contracted by the organization and they play an important role towards proactively driving the business of these clients or corporate clients to new heights. So you could say that they adopt not just, you know, the basic or traditional concepts of human resource consulting, but in today's world, they actually adopt strategic human resource consultancy to the extent of proactively driving the business performance of their clients to new heights by adopting strategies and you know which would be like a critical driver of profitability or you know achieving the organization goals of course we're achieving you know profits is one of the organization goals achieving those profits or increasing the profitability that's like a critical driver using strategic human resource management and development to the consultancy role and you know uh, aligning it with you know the other business strategies which is and that is actually a critical driver of profitability of any organization so therefore strategic human resource consultancy is application of strategic management in the rendering of human resources services by consultancy organizations or consultancy firms and that aims to to help the clients or corporate clients gain a competitive edge through strategic recruitment and strategic planning of human resources for an organization if they are appointed to do so. Next is now, these human resource consultants are of course they are seasoned consultants and they are, uh, you know, when they adopt the strategic process or strategic, uh, you know, they adopt a strategic human resource uh, uh, consultancy, they are, they, you know, they are seasoned in that field. They work with the companies, business owners or executors, and they, you know, basically facilitate, help them facilitate, you know, certain business critical decisions, you know, at top levels which are like, you know, which has to be worked through the employee structure of an organization. If you remember during the first class, I said employees are actually investment and not an expenditure. So I would also, you know, encourage human resource consultants to really, you know, you know, drive into the minds of corporate organizations to understand that employees are more of an investment if you invest in the right person at the right time and, you know, you know, strategize within your organization to boost their morale, which will, towards the end, you know, help you to achieve uh, strategically your goals, your organizational goals, whatever it is. So I would say that they are an investment, employees are an investment and not an expenditure. So coming back to the slides, human resource consultants would adopt strategic methods, assure the clients that their advice would strategically lead the organization to gain its vision and goals, of course, of both short-term and long-term goals through the organization's human resources. So that's what human resources consultancy is all about. It deals with human resources, strategic planning of human resources. They are normally experts in the field. They, you know, they develop HR plan, they, uh, you know, make, uh, you know, devise contracts, employment contracts, policy documentation, HR policies, then they help in, you know, uh, you know, checking the performance management and so on. So the role again, today, strategic human resource consultancy concerns itself with strategically matching, listen carefully, with strategically matching organizational competence with organization goals. This is what I would say. Today, strategic human resource consultancy concerns itself with strategically matching or aligning organizational competence 
competence of whom? Of course, the workers, of the employees with organizational goals, planning human resources with apt designing of HR digital practices or HR analytics and study, examine. What is HR analytics? HR analytics, of course, is to study and examine the rationale, the reasoning behind employee exits. Why? It's one of the you know, processes in HR analytics is to, you know, to study and examine the rationale or the reason behind employee exits. What are the things that makes an employee to stick to an organization and so on? And of course, they also examine the HR life cycle. That means how long does an employee generally stick to a company? The loyalty of the person of the employees are assessed in general. HR policies are examined and so on. So strategic human resource consultancy therefore concerns itself with strategically matching or align, aligning organization competence with organization goals, planning human resources with apt designing of HR digital practices. Uh, like, you know, there are softwares there are, you know, there are softwares, HR softwares, um, which, you know, which, which aid in managing, you know, the, like, for example, the payroll of employees, the, the how, many, how many employees are there, what are the compensations that are paid, what, is, what are the benefits, what are the perks, so they have a particular software. So, and also, you know, uploading information to this payroll is actually, uh, of payrolls, for example, is a Herculean task. So normally this digital practice, HR digital practices, or this software is normally they help instead of maintaining those huge documentation and files. Of course, there is documentation as well, but you know, those intricate details and information like up uploading uh, you know, basic information of the employee and say there are several employees, we all know in companies that can be several, you know, from, uh, it can range from one, two, to even thousands of employees. So maintaining a database of thousands of employees or hundreds of employees is a Herculean task. So they normally, these days, uh, you know, they uh, adopt digital practices or they have these softwares. So uh, today's strategic human resource consultancy, where you, uh, you know, where companies or corporates are into the habit of, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, contracting the services of human resource consultancy firms. Uh, and these human resource consultancy firms, they strategically help these organizations in the form of, um, for, of course, the relationship would be a, you know, a client, a client and a service provider. So uh, they would match the organization competencies. Now, of course, it depends from one organization to another because they would have several clients. Consultancy firms have several clients. It is a service industry. So they have several clients. So each client, they will study each client. Uh, it could be a private company, it could be a public company, depending upon you know uh, what what is the you know what this uh, firm uh, basically concentrates on. Whether it's just concentrating on, for example, the oil and gas sector, or that is the public domain, or it's just concentrating on you know private enterprises. It depends, or it's just concentrating generally with. You know whichever client it gets it depends you know what what uh, kind of uh, clientele list that every human resource consultancy organization maintains so of course depending on that you know one client is different from another each, you know, i mean there are different type of companies so likewise depending upon you know each organization their goals would be different their vision is different their mission is different so they would individually study their particular that particular client and they would study the organizational competence which is there within the organization they would match or align organization competence with organization goals plan human resources for that particular client uh, or corporate client with apt designing of hr digital practices whatever is required within the organization suggest you know certain softwares uh, to be implemented or use the prevalent softwares which would sometimes it could be a general software which manages uh, you know like uh, you know the operations of the company including you know, finance uh, you know inventory finance hr you know, sometimes uh, they can have a common software or it depends on what is the organization and again, what to what level is our organization, how big is the organization. So accordingly, they would design HR digital practices for them. They would, uh, you know, examine the HR analytics, that is, they would study uh, like, you know, they'll go into the file, file system and study like 
what, what if employees are leaving this organization, why are they leaving? They examine the reasoning behind employee exits. They would study uh, if they are sticking to the organization, why they are sticking. So, I mean, it's, it's actually HR analytic, analytics is like an analytical tool that collects relevant data from the organization for the purpose of study and it draws conclusions based on strength of, and weaknesses uh, of the company that come to the fore. For example, data is collected on employee productivity, resignations, employee behavior, and so on. It, and further strategic human resource consultancy also goes and studies HR life cycle. Like for how long does an employee generally stick to a company? Loyalty assessment and HR policies are examined. And uh, they also would go ahead and devise uh, appropriate policies, appropriate HR policies. They would suggest if there's already existing HR policy, they would suggest amendments. If there are no HR policies existing, then they would advise HR policies. If there are no, uh, you know, perks or, you know, certain uh, schemes that are in the best interest of employee and boosting their morale, if it's not existing, they would suggest that. They would suggest, no, uh, you know, how to, uh, you know, uh, you know, develop themselves, how the employees can develop themselves as leaders. So, you know, I, I would suggest that uh, where every employee in the organization should be considered as a leader, uh, right from the top to the, the lowest rung of the organization. So if you try to inculcate those leadership skills in each and every employee, so they would kind of, uh, they would know how to lead their performance, lead their work, lead their team. And towards the end, you, you know, boost their morale. And towards the end, they would really work towards, you know, uh, accomplish the accomplishing the organization goals and of course the actual leaders who are there in the form of the top management again even they should be taught basically how to be a right leader how to be a visionary leader because anybody can be a manager again managing is an art uh, but they need training every manager needs a needs training because management is an art it's an art that needs to be executed it's also a science that you know the intricacies of the situation and you know uh, use the right solution to the right problem and uh, it's also about people management uh, of course it, in fact it is about people management how you manage people how you uh, you know promote their skills how you don't stifle their growth how you uh, you know don't uh, uh, you know impose your opinions upon them, but give them the leverage to perform their tasks. I read something very interesting, uh, which was uh, just yesterday night, um, which was uh, written by Steve Jobs. And he said that um, if uh, you are, uh, so uh, yeah, he said that we, we are interested in recruiting the right people to the right job and, uh, and allowing the employee trusting that you know, the employee does what is right in the organization and that the employee tells us how to do and what is to be done. And we are not employing just to tell you what is to be done, but rather that you tell us also what is to be done. And in fact, I agree with this, uh, uh, you know, his opinion saying that that's the reason, uh, you know, and he says, in fact, he says, we recruit smart people so that you tell us what is to be done rather than we telling you what is to be done. So I really agree to that because, uh, you know, sometimes there is this traditional approach in the organizations where, uh, you know, they say, they think that manager means you will have to, you know, tell the person, you know, uh, tell the people, tell the employees what is to be done, how is to be done. Of course, you're supposed to do, but not stifle the growth, but give them an opportunity also to express themselves. So that is why you hire a smart person. To hire a smart person and to put the right person at the right job that is the role of of course, in case I have an in-house human resource manager or human resource department, and it's their role. But since we are talking about consultancy organizations, so this is also one of their roles. They examine the situation in the organization and then implement the right strategies. And in case there is a need of training, then they would suggest really training uh, even the employees as well as the leaders of the organization. And I would suggest that you train every employee to be a leader from the highest to the lowest rung of the organization. 
Next is, uh, of course, I told you what is HR analytics that, you know, the, you know, even human resource consultancy organization, they, you know, study that as well, they examine that as well. They were the basic feature in the present day strategic human resource consultancy is in devising the right processes with HR digital practices for an organization, routing organization performance towards accomplishing or achieving organization goals, both long-term goals and short-term goals, and the, you know that is aligned with the organization's vision and mission. Also, that would provide strategic advice on, you know, their role is also to provide strategic advice on devising or amending or drafting or implementing, you know, HR and administrative policies for the organization. Apart from that, they also, uh, their services are engaged also in recruitment and selection where they apply strategic management. So strategically planning recruitment and selection process, again, is a very important skill or that is you know, required in the experts who are part of human resource consultancy firms. And, you know, you require strategic recruitment and strategic selection process. I mean, they are skilled in that, and that is one of the role they play, uh, like, you know, in the recruitment process and such. Now, how do they do recruitment? Of course, they first they study the need of the organization. They study the goals of the organization. They see that they recruit such a person that is right person to the right job. They would normally recruit a person, you know, knowing the person's background and, you know, uh, after studying the person, saying that this person will not hop from one job to another just for example they would study normally the history of the person the background of the person what the person can offer what is the needs of the company whether the person would fit in this particular organization and so on so there are a lot of factors that need to be considered next is of course they render advice what is the role or what is the function of an uh, hr uh, consultancy organization who adopt strategic human resource uh, processes is to also render strategic advice on compliance with the laws related to human resources, for example, labor laws and so on. See, this is also, again, a very important thing, assuring compliance with the laws related to human resources, for example, labor laws. Apart from that, depending upon, you know, one jurisdiction to another, it could be also uh, you know, workmen's compensation laws. It, it depends upon which country it is. So they might have industrial dispute laws. And uh, I mean, there are different laws, uh, you know, which is uh, pertinent to, uh, you know, uh, you know, the corporate sector or to employees. It depends where, where, uh, which part of the world it is. So compliance generally, we can sp speak about compliance with the laws which are related to human resources, for example, labor laws. Again, I would say insurance laws, which are again, which are pertinent to employees. I would say that uh, there are, uh, you know, countries which have special ESI schemes, that is um, employment, uh, you know, insurance schemes, ESI, or uh, employee standard insurance schemes. Then they have uh, workmen's compensation schemes, that is workmen's compensation in case there is any injury caused to the workman uh, or an employee during, you know, while rendering his services. So they can be, you know, workman's compensation. So depending upon the injury that is caused to the person or accident that may, might be there. So depending upon, it's, it's a different part of it, basically. I mean, it comes under the laws, but well, they are to know the laws, they are to be aware of with the laws. They are to render advice to the company on compliance with the laws. For example, there is an accident and the person loses, uh, say he is a person who's working on the machines and says he loses one of the thumb. So again, you know, as per the law, there is an assessment like uh, which thumb did he lose, whether it's from the right hand or the left hand. So if it's a right hand and the person is, you know, uses the right hand for his job, especially he is into writing, whether he can write it well or he can, uh, write or he can use his hand for writing or in case he's on the machines and therefore he's cut his thumb for example so whether he can ever use his hands again for operating that machine you know see all these factors are considered as per the law for awarding compensation or in case there is death of an employee so the family members would be compensated and so on so compliance with the law so they come up with and they also would uh, you know ask the uh, you know or you know render advice in case we get, uh, I'm sorry uh, to interrupt you in case there is uh you know disconnection in case we get disconnected please join back because i just got an intimation here well so um i was talking about yeah so there are several laws that needs to be complied with um 
and in case uh, let's say i know of a case where there was a company where you know it uh, there was a company uh, actually it was relating uh, i mean it was dealing with certain chemical manufacturing and this person there was a long story short there was an employee who actually uh, you know lost his thumb and then uh, thumb and some other one of the fingers uh, well so then what they did as per the laws of this country you will always have to file a police report where the you know the company did not actually do that and uh, well again long story short um, again, we had to advise them that, you know, you go by the process, you, you know, uh, you know, do not run away from, you know, filing a police report. So this is the kind of advice, you know, uh, you know, HR, uh, HR firms would normally render to corporates. Now, how do these firms, uh, uh, you know, function? It could be also, it could be, they would send, you know, a retainer, you know, they could have a retainer agreement where they would send one of the HR experts you know, or an HR office or an ex HR expert to be full time within the within that particular corporate structure to be there and to render the services. Sometimes they would say that no, you know, it depends upon what type of agreement is there between the corporate, uh, you know, client as well uh, and the this uh, human resources firm. So this is how it works. Next is they would facilitate their help in facilitating HRD training process, human resources development training processes and schemes within the organization that is contracted the services of the consultancy firm. So it also deals with the evaluation of executed strategic HR processes. Next, it would may it may also aid succession planning, especially for leadership roles. Now, succession planning: now, who becomes the um, you know, the next CEO. So who is in line? So succession planning. Next is it may conduct management coaching to enhance and match organizational competence with organization goals. And it is supposed to maintain, it's one of the duties to maintain confidentiality. Whatever is, you know, confidential information because there would be a clause in the services agreement saying that, confidentiality has to be maintained and uh, if not there would be a particular penalty or that would give the right to the other person to file a suit and claim compensation depending upon what information has been leaked out and so on so they have to maintain confidentiality so next we will move on to challenges and prospects of hrd strategic HRD, the challenges and prospects of strategic human resources development as a whole. Some of the challenges that surface or come to the fore in strategic human resources development is with its intertwined prospects are one, at the international level is managing a, a you know, a multicultural workforce within an organization from different countries. So, of course, this is one of the challenges when you adopt a strategy for implementing human resources programs or human resources processes. So managing a multicultural workforce within an organization from different countries, again, is a kind of a challenge. And the major challenge that's reflected recently, if you should, I'm sure you would agree with me, is about the WFH, that is work from home process, that has been initiated due to the pandemic COVID-19 that struck the world. Until today, some organizations till now have a remote system of working and some have adopted a hybrid scheme, while some others have switched back to the on-site mode. So therefore, yet another challenge would be keeping pace with new technological developments and HR systems. Now that's again a challenge that is, you know, to keep, uh, to upgrade themselves. And that, and once that is resolved, once again, it is again adopted and implemented. Uh, now, the purpose of you know, upgrading technological systems, of course, is to turbocharge uh, HR processes, you know, by introducing, you know, AI robotics, artificial intelligence, AI robotics uh, in HR digital practices and automated HR systems and so on. Next would be would be that uh, one of the challenge again would be obliterating bureaucratic environment within a structure because nobody likes a bureaucratic environment in a structure 
traditional bureaucratic, uh, you know, uh, structure in an organization or the environment in an organization, which is normally created by the manager. Sometimes it depends. It's like sometimes a one man show and he, you know, handles everything and what he or she says, it's the last word and the final word. So that's how, again, uh, you know, obliterating bureaucratic environment. Now, what I told you about Steve Jobs opinion, he said that we hire smart people, not that you, uh, we tell you what, how to do the job or, but rather you tell us what is to be done or how it is to be done so that's why we hire smart people so you see now bureaucratic environment is uh you know is like you know again in stark contrast with the concept of uh hiring people for letting the organization know what is to be done and how it is to be done so against this concept so today's environment is changing Today, the world is changing. It has evolved to the extent that, you know, you know, the employees, rather people have braced themselves up. There's so much of technological advancement, so much of an advancement in the world that people know what to do. You know, I would say that knowledge has expanded and uh, people have got uh, recourse to knowledge by, in, by different platforms, be it internet, be it, you know, online coaching, online training, or, you know, you have these different professional uh, uh, sites like LinkedIn, and they give so much of training sometimes when you're part of LinkedIn, and then you're connected to different people. And, uh, you know, sometimes there's HR training also within the organization. So all these things. So when the employees, you know, talking about employees, they're enlightened. So naturally, they would not uh you no know, prefer working in a bureaucratic environment so that's one of the challenges that even i see for uh, the implementation of strategic human resources uh management as well as development that is uh, you know obliterating bureaucratic environment within a structure next is aligning strategy with factors such as processes governance organization capability and systems and conforming it to leadership within the structure Again, this is, you know, when you come up with new strategies and you have to literally advise the organization and convince them why you are advising this process to be implemented. Again, for example, if you ask them for implementing, say, an AI process, a digital process, then they would say that it depends now whether they have a particular, uh, you know, they have the resources for that. They have financial resources to invest in that. So all these things, again, make a difference. So align strategy with factors such as processes, governance, organization, capability, systems, uh, you know, and conforming it to leadership within the structure. It means you have to listen also to the leadership within the structure and then implement human resources, uh, you know, the right processes within the organization and also sch right schemes within the organization. Next is training that is lined up with dynamic needs of the business environment. So we know that business environment is ever changing. It's dynamic in nature. It changes for good. It is in the process of development. It is advancing day to day. So training that is aligned with dynamic needs of business environment. Next is ma managing and supervising people. As I said earlier, it's always been an art to be mastered. So now they would train people and speak to them on managing and supervising people. So a good human resources department within an organization would also, uh, you know, uh, help in managing and supervising people. So this could be, again, a challenge about managing and supervising people because people have mind, they have brain, so, and everyone is designed differently. So you have different people, they have different opinion, they have different way of thinking, beyond people. So managing and supervising people has always be, been, a, you know, a challenge. And in fact, that is an art to be mastered. Next is refining, you know, employee life cycle, pruning employee life cycle. That is, uh, you know, you, that's again a challenge that where you try your best to retain the services of an 